so I brought out some of my old gouache paints and one of them is this Turner Acrylla gouache and I bought this like three years ago and I haven't used it since. I mean, I don't remember if I've used it at all or maybe I've used it once but never got to like use it again. I don't know, it's pretty dusty now. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't dried out yet though considering it's like acrylic gouache, you know? so it doesn't like reactivate or anything but yeah that's cool um i also brought out some of my holbein paints which i bought around the same time as the turner gouache paints but again um they're barely used i'm gonna paint like this pink donut thing which doesn't really end very well but you know at least i got to use them again right anyway I was gonna answer a bunch of questions from Instagram just so I could have stuff to talk about during chat time but while I was recording just a lot of things were happening like I'd forget to put in the memory card or the battery would die and then sometimes I'd forget to press record and I'm just like you know what I think the world just doesn't want me to do a Q&A yet so yeah, I ended up answering everything on Instagram, so if you're curious about that, um, it's in my story highlights thing. A lot of you guys actually asked me pretty good questions. A lot of them made me think and ponder, you know? So, how have you been? It makes me really happy when you guys actually like update me on what you've been doing and stuff in the comments. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I really like reading long comments. Usually those come up whenever I chat about something, when you reply to like a lot of the things I talk about, um, I don't know, it just gets me like really excited because I feel like I'm, you know, discussing with a bunch of friends. I don't know. I check up on my friends a lot, like in real life. So I feel like I've gotten used to asking how people are doing, you know? I mean, they don't have to tell me, but I'm gonna ask anyway. <laughs> school, school is a butt. It's just getting worse, you know? <laughs> Um, I've been pretty stressed lately, but I think I'm managing pretty well. I mean, not that well, but I've been getting sleep and yeah. <laughs> but I feel like that's an upgrade from the last vlog because last time I spoke to you guys, I probably didn't have any sleep. But now I do have sleep, it's just that I'm cramming. <laughs> finals is coming soon which is scary i mean i feel like we just finished midterms and now we're gonna head on to finals but i mean i asked for this so i can't really do much about it and my pride's not gonna allow me to fail so oh i did a lot of adulting things uh the past few weeks and pretty proud of myself uh but I mean, I'm not gonna get into like the details about scary adulting things. Um, I mean, I've done some of them before and some new things recently. It's still kind of like overwhelming sometimes because I'd like to delay being an adult as much as possible. I don't know. I mean, it's gonna happen. It already is happening. It's been happening since I turned 17. A little earlier than 18, yes, but I'm alive. And it's great, and I'm proud of myself. My mom has been super supportive, and she kind of laughs at me a lot just because I get so nervous about some of the things she does on a regular basis. So yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> anyway, um, I haven't read anything in such a long time. I have been reading a lot of web comics though, and there was this one comic that <laughs> it's so good i think it was called seasons of blossom it started off a pretty standard you know romance manhwa and you know exactly what i mean like a lot of them kind of follow the same story but then we moved on to the stories of the supporting cast and i just fell in love with their story not the main character's story i mean it's cute, you know, the leads, they're great, but just the supporting characters. I think I'm like at chapter 41 or something, um, but then it stopped updating, which is such a bummer. Um, I feel like that's because the webcomic is on webtoon now, so it's just gonna like update there, but 
on webtoon it's, i think it's still in the earlier chapters so it's very far from where i'm at it's great and it's sad it's so it's so good i mean it's it's sad you guys it's a lot sadder than it seems to be <laughs> But yeah, um, when I start reading webtoons again, I get really into them and I can finish like a webcomic in one to two days <laughs> or less than a day just because I just speed through them and yeah, it's fun but kind of rare to like find a webtoon that really stands out from all the rest because a lot of them are like isekai and you know like the sad mopey boy and the cheerful girl you know just a lot of that i mean it works it makes me happy and it's fun it's cute but it's pretty rare to like find webtoons that really stick with me i don't list them down like i do with anime because with anime even if the anime is like kind of forgettable i will have it listed down but with webtoons a lot of them i don't remember the titles and again a lot of the time i finish them in less than a day or less than two days so yeah oh i've been watching so much anime i finished hori mia it's probably my favorite shoujo anime now Poor Mia is just so incredibly wholesome and you'll know exactly what I mean when you watch it. The relationships are so healthy and not a single one of them is toxic at all. <laughs> it makes me wonder if people like that really exist. I finished Jujutsu Kaisen. Now I'm sad. <laughs> um just because I miss them. I've also been watching Skate and I know it's done by now. Is it done? Yes, I think it is. It's great. I've been watching a lot of really good shows lately and I'm going through them really slowly just cause I like them a lot. <laughs> and I just know that once I finish a season, I'm gonna have to wait like a year. They're kind of like my friends at this point, you know, like I don't know if that sounds sad, but <laughs> I kind of like see them that way, you know? Anyway, Dr. Stone the latest season i've been watching it and um i didn't know that they're only coming out with 11 episodes for this season so i've been waiting for the 12th episode and i thought why hasn't it come out yet i've also been watching food wars and i haven't finished it yet i'm in the latest season <laughs> um i mean i knew that some love would bloom between some of the characters i feel like it's pretty obvious from the first episode in the first season but i kind of thought it would be a side plot thing i mean it is kind of but not really we're paying more attention to it now um i'm sorry if that's like a spoiler um i don't think it is i mean the show has a lot of you know characters so at some point something is bound to happen you guys <laughs> yeah um I didn't think that we'd pay attention to that this season and apparently it's the last season so I'm going through it very slowly uh, just cause I'm not ready to say goodbye. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that's all I have to say. I think, is that everything? Yeah, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great week, please sleep, exercise if you can and watch all the anime that i just mentioned yeah okay bye <laughs>